Well, Frenzy, of course, was that first guitar solo on the first Racer X album, my uh, really introduction to the world. And uh, it was kind of a ballsy move, putting the guitar solo first thing on a record. And that, that was Mike Varney's idea. And, but I was totally happy with it. I thought, you know, after getting over the initial, like, are you sure, really, can you do that? I, th I thought it was, it was great. And uh, I still listen to it now, and some of that picking is so ferocious that, uh, you know, I can't just sit there and do that. You know, I sort of warm up to it these days. But um, I, I used to pick really differently then, too. I, I um, actually held the pick much differently than I, I do now. And, and if I try it now, it's, it's, it's no good. You know, I haven't done it for decades. But I used to bend my thumb way back and use two fingers, which is a really strong grip. And plus, you can make a shadow picture of an ostrich. But... Uh, you know, I'd bend it back like that, like that, and you know, I, I did it so much that I could that I could do it. Now it's kind of rusty. Now and I, now I kind of hold it forward, which to me is, is I mean, now it's more consistent because I've played it that way. But I don't think I could have maintained that backwards way because I think it would have pushed my thumb you know, all the way into my hand and my thumb would have eventually disappeared. Um, I, I could tell that it was a, a technique with, with, with a time limit on it. You know, I would have had some kind of injury. So, um, you know, I ended up changing my picking a bit. But, uh, man, that was some ferocious stuff. And uh, it's, a, it's always a challenge to, to recreate that. But uh, I'm, glad that, uh, I'm glad that the tape was rolling when that was going on. That's, a, that's some serious face-melting shred.